American team Haas may not be at its 2018 peak right now, but its future in F1 has been confirmed, with the squad inking the Concord Agreement last month that will bind the sport's stakeholders until 2025, ensuring a decade tenure for Haas, a source of pride for team principal Gunter Steiner, who spoke exclusively to the inside line. I think we are the last one start, uh, started and still still here and uh, here to stay, uh, obviously after uh, after Mr. Haas signed the Concord Agreement for the next five years, so uh, that will make us 10 years and there's not many teams uh, uh, which made it uh, since 2000 this long, so uh, it, it's good, I mean, you know, uh, I think we add something to the sport. It's also well-placed to capitalize on 2022's new era as one of the sport's leanest operations, buying in everything it can from Ferrari. With around 270 employees, 70 of which are at chassis builder Dallara. I think we are pretty efficient uh, as an F1 team in general compared with, with other ones. I mean, I, won't, I don't want to say that the other ones are inefficient, but they, they, they came up over the uh, fat years, I would call it, you know, when money was never a, a, a subject. But while Steiner is much happier with the prize money distribution going forward, He's far less so with Ferrari's hobbled power unit, while the 2019 car's debilitating aero stall put it behind on development. Our view, it isn't strong in the moment. Uh, Ferrari will come back. It's just like, how quick can we come back? Uh, that, that is now the question. More than if they come back, you know, it's how quick it can get, how we can get back. But uh, uh, our car is not fantastic, but last year our car was not really good. And uh, But we fixed them problems, but we are a little bit behind now in the development because uh, we made some wrong decisions last year, I would say, uh, 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 aerodynamically. 2020's results are even worse than last year's, though, with just one point compared to the 16 it had after nine races in 2019. Its peak is still fifth in 2018, when Ferrari was also at its recent best, with a total of 93 points. And while the biggest talking point is its driver lineup for 2021, in whether to retain pilots Romain Grosjean and Kevin Magnussen, Steiner just wants the best possible pairing, with options galore, including Sergio Perez, though the dream American driver is still some way off. It would be fantastic if there would be a, a, a really good American driver out there, uh, somebody young coming up, uh, and we can put in. That would be fantastic. I mean, there is now in Formula Formula 3, uh, uh, Logan Sargent, which is doing very well at the moment, you know. It's, it's quite impressive what he's doing, but uh, he has got still a few years to go. It's all about moving forward as Haas continues its F1 odyssey. Thanks for watching. To stay up to speed on all things Formula One, make sure you hit the subscribe button.